Portugués. Five suspects have been found from the fingerprints which were found in the rooms and people have told me that these guys were not present in the party that day and they have no alibis. Let's get the truth out of them. Send them in. One by one. He is Gloomer Anthony, brother of Eva, and works as a food blogger. You know that this is an official interrogation, right? You cannot eat here. Sorry, but I can't stop eating. I'm diagnosed with being eating disorder. But why are you wasting my previous food time? Aren't you supposed to find my sister killer? Okay, okay. We leave your precious food alone. But can you tell us where you were yesterday from 10 to 12 p.m.? I was at the kitchen maybe, I don't know. Interesting. But then why are your fingerprints all over the room? I went to her room to give my sister dinner. She had not eaten anything. I saw her body in the pool of blood look like an apple tart with red raspberry cream. And I called the ambulance and the police and I don't have any notice to kill my little chocobai. Okay, okay. Ma'am, she's Enola IV, second place in the Miss World. It's called Runner Up, and I would have won the competition if it wasn't for my stupid heels. Oh my god. Imagine me on the cover of all those magazines. Not that damsel in distress. <laughs> Hashtag RIP. She was murdered in cold blood, and you're still envious of her. See? She's dead and she's still taking the limelight. Can you imagine all those newspapers publishing about her? The publicity she's getting. I deserve that. <sighs> Such a narc. You made quite a scene on stage when she was crowned though. Hmm? She didn't deserve the crown. <sighs> so you killed her? Ew. No. Why would you say that? Those earrings, they don't look good on you. Maybe you should give them to me. I know how to pull them off. Just answer the damn question. If you didn't murder her, then why are your fingerprints on her body? Hmm? Fine. I went to that room. And she was lying on the bed. And it looked like someone had torn her dress. Zara? 67,000? I mean, it's obvious. Someone like her can pull off a dress like that. But anyway, she was holding the crown. The crown. My crown. And so I punched her. I pulled the crown from her hands, and that bitch knew how to struggle. But I took the crown, and I came back. That's it. I didn't kill her. You always look like a florist or is uh, today a special day? Oh, snazzy. Just like how I like my girls. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, Mr. Trast, okay. Well, people actually call me Charming Lucas. But you can call me whatever you want. How about Daddy? He's neighbor of the deceased, ma'am. He was missing from the party at the time of death. Hmm. So, Mr. Lucas, where were you at the time of death? And oh, pro tip. If you ever try to flirt with me again, I will crush you like that rose. 
Correct. Yes, ma'am. I went home. The party, let's just say, did not have any woman of my taste. There was no point of me staying there any longer. Funny story. The traffic cameras across the road do not show you getting back home. And you know what's even funnier? Your fingerprints are all over the victim's body. And your flesh under her fingernails. And judging by the scratches on your neck, Why don't you tell us the whole story? Hmm? Fine. I'll tell you the truth. As long as it means I can spend some more time with you. I did go to a room. We were making out. And let me tell you, we did some pretty nasty stuff. Maybe even I could show you one day, detective. That slut was never happy with the husband. All I ever was doing was saving her, satisfying her. Anyways, how could she say no to this guy? And about the scratch marks, you know how I like my girls. Wild. Maybe you should ask this lust husband. Cheating is a good enough motive for murder, don't you think? <laughs> Mr. Sloan, I know that this is a very tough time, but we need some answers. Mr. Sloan Seapath, I'm sorry for your loss. Ma'am, he's the house husband and he has been to many rehabs. Did you know about your wife's affair with Mr. Lucas Trist, your neighbor? Though I think he's not telling the whole truth. I I no I did not know about my wife's affair. I had a little suspicion. She was a good woman. She used to earn a lot of money. She used to do all the shopping. She was such a hard working woman. You said that you did not have a job, so you just stayed home. Mr. Sloan? Sloan? Mr. Sloan? Huh? What was the question? Your neighbor says you guys always had fights because you were always high and you never got up from the sofa. Oh, sofa. My sofa. My sofa. Did you just sleep in the middle of the interrogation? Mrs. Sloan! Huh? Huh? Uh, I, I. E? See? Mm. What was the question? Where were you at the time of death? <laughs> I checked on my wife. After she was talking with some... with her manager. It looked like they were kind of fighting in her in her room, huh? In her room. The room was kind of messed too, which I personally like, you know. 
मैं जीरो हूं आई गेव हर सम ड्रिंक एंड See, I don't need another sofa gasm for you, okay? And now you need to find a life because your only income is dead. You know, detectives. That. That is the very thing about money. This five-letter word. is amazing but let me tell you a secret it does not need blood and sweat money does not need to be earned just imagine yourself sitting on your bed without even moving for days even months getting or earning money money can be won money can be married money can be inherited so long Uh, Mr. Grayson Seed, ma'am, he's the he's the manager of Eva, and he's the one who took her for Miss World. Uh, I'm sorry, sir, but I have to ask this to you. What's with the look? Why two watches? Why not two? Why settle for one when you can have more? Never settle for less. You can always have more. You just need to take the steps. You're greedy. Noted. No. Looking after yourself is uh, not greedy. And uh, why am I even here? Well, you're here to answer us. Why were you in Eva's room, and what were you guys talking about? Her husband heard you two talking. I went to congratulate her again for her victory and to get my payment, which was due for two hours. Can you imagine two hours? I had several other parties to attend. I think two hours is very less time, isn't it? It is not. Well, then explain me this. Why were your fingerprints all over her room, and even inside her cupboard? All right, fine. When she was downstairs, I went to her room to search the contract. But that bitch, she said she will not renew the contract, and she's done with this modeling world. That bitch. We are on top now, and we can go beyond. So I went to her and I said, "Next step is Miss Universe. Means more fame, more money, more. The word more is enough to become the driving force. But that bitch, she had to settle for less." So let me get this straight. You went inside her room to find the contract and renew it. Uh, I mean, forge it. But she caught you red-handed. and that's when you guys had that fight she had such an over the top reaction but i'm happy at least he can be over the top <laughs> so i told her she can think of more she can have and then she stormed off and she was very alive Her husband heard us right, so now that proves my. Can I leave now? Because I need more of eight hours of sleep. Well, 
What do you think? Five suspects, strong motives. Ma'am, we need. I think we need more information to pinpoint it to a person, ma'am. What are we missing? Yeah. Okay, we are coming. Just a sec. Ma'am, forensics found some evidence. We need to move. I guess we found it. Call all five of them. I know who did it. <sighs> Let me tell you guys about the murder of Eva Cassian, the newly won queen who was enjoying her party when suddenly she got a phone call. She went upstairs to her room and then when she went inside, the greedy manager was there searching for her contract to get more of life. They had a fight. He stormed off. Then came the slot jumpy. I'm pretty sure you spiked her drink. I know how much you wanted her dead, but you left her. Maybe because you got lazy. Then came the slutty neighbor who thinks all the girls love her. <laughs> you tried to sexually harass her. She fought back, and then you left. And when? And when she was in her most vulnerable state, lying there in her bed, the envy colony came, but just to take the crown. And then came the famished brother, too obsessed with food, to not even care about what his sister went through. You guys are pathetic, but I know who did it. The forensics found a drug called Listex amphetamine from the knife. So, are you going to tell us the whole truth, Mr. Blumar? Listexamphetamine is a drug prescribed for people with binge eating disorder. So, tell us. I don't know. <laughs> she was just lying over there. I was. I was. I'm starving. She looked like a strawberry over a cupcake. Her skin was like a chicken. So I had to do something. I took the knife and I made a meal for myself. Oh God! It was so tasty. Her fingers, her blood. Oh, my little sister! <laughs> now under arrest for first-degree murder and cannibalism. <laughs>